Number 1. Vagos In the 1960s, a group of motorcyclists in San Bernardino, California, formed a club known as the Vagos. Club members are easily identifiable by their green threads and patches depicting the Norse god Loki astride a motorcycle. The club has about 24 chapters in various western U.S. states like Arizona and Nevada, and three in Mexico. Multiple investigations by the FBI and the ATF have focused on the Vagos for crimes including methamphetamine manufacturing and trafficking, as well as homicide, money laundering, and firearms offenses. 25 Vagos members and associates were arrested in what has been called the greatest investigation in Southern California's history in March of 2006. Number 2. Mongols Despite being named after Genghis Khan's massive empire, the Mongols, which was founded in East Los Angeles in the 1960s, is a really modest organization. It has 800 members and 70 chapters around the United States, with the majority being in California. The Mongols may not be as large or as strong as the big four illegal motorcycle gangs, but they make up for it in viciousness and violence. The Mongols, a much smaller gang than their opponents, the Hells Angels, were able to take control of Southern California from them following a lengthy gang battle in the 1980s. Still, the Hells Angels haven't reclaimed the land. In a massive operation in 2008, 61 gang members were arrested on various accusations relating to drug trafficking, racketeering, and murder in the cities of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and elsewhere in the Southwest. Number 3. Pagans The original intent of this biker gang was not to commit criminal acts. Pagans were established in 1957, but until 1965, it was just a typical motorcycle club. Those who had served their country bitterly against the government in the 1960s would join the club, and before long, they would be involved in illegal activity. The East Coast is predominantly pagan territory. The group is involved in criminal enterprises such as drug trafficking, particularly crystal meth, marijuana and heroin, and gang warfare. Additionally, the gang has gained notoriety for its members' propensity to randomly attack civilians, as well as drive-by shootings of former members and violent brawls with other biker gangs. This criminal motorcycle gang wears patches proclaiming their status as members of the 1%. Furthermore, they wear patches bearing secret messages meant to annoy cops. Number 4. Free Souls In the late 1960s, an organized motorcycle gang formed in the state of Oregon. A motorcycle rim and tire were centered around an onk, an ancient Egyptian cross-shaped emblem, on its patch. One of their chapters is in Vancouver, Canada, but the rest are all in the state of Oregon. Three members of the motorcycle gang, the Free Souls, were taken into custody and charged with numerous offenses on May 2, 2007. The investigation and subsequent arrests led to the seizure of numerous items of evidence, including drugs, firearms, and stolen motorcycles. Number 5. Outlaws As the first and longest-running motorcycle club in the United States, the Outlaws are a cultural institution. Other gangs refer to it as the epitome of 1%ness. Its origins may be tracked back to 1935, but following a reorganization in the 1950s, its distinctive skull and twin piston emblem replaced the original motorcycle's wings as the emblem of the group. The Black Pistons Motorcycle Club is one such support group that also doubles as a recruitment hub for the gang. When it comes to riding and camaraderie, this group is extremely strict. Men who ride Harley-Davidson motorcycles are its members. Women have no rights and can be bought and sold for anything, even illicit substances. This gang has been around for a long time and has a bad reputation as one of the big four biker gangs in the United States. Murder, execution-style shootings, drug trafficking, money laundering, extortion, gunfights, and even firebombs have all been linked to the group's members. Number 6. Bandidos First opening its doors in 1966 in San Antonio, Texas, the Bandidos are among the most infamous of all the American motorcycle gangs. The gang's emblem is a rotund Mexican with a machete in one hand and a gun in the other, rendered in a cartoon style and wearing a huge sombrero. The club's founder was a Vietnam War veteran, hence gold and red were chosen as the official colors. The Bandidos currently have about 90 chapters all throughout the United States, with further outposts in Asia, Germany, and Australia. The Bandidos gang history of crime is extensive and bloody. In 2006, a member of the Bandidos was apprehended, tried, and convicted for the murder of a famous flyweight boxer. And in March of that year, a member of the rival Hells Angels Motorcycle Club was sniped while leaving a restaurant. Number 7. Warlocks 
The Warlocks are an American motorcycle gang that formed in 1967 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and rapidly expanded after the Vietnam War's conclusion. The Warlocks, an exclusively white male fraternity, have chapters across Pennsylvania, the rest of the northeastern United States, and the southeastern United States, and even in Germany and England. Their emblem is a winged harpy from Greek mythology, and their colors are red and white. Members will frequently wear white supremacist symbols, both on their person and on their vests. Former chapter president Tommy Zeroff of the Bucks County, Pennsylvania chapter was arrested in 2008 on charges of having 10 pounds of methamphetamine. The same year, in October, four members of the Warlocks were arrested and accused of manufacturing, transporting, and trafficking methamphetamine in Berks and Montgomery counties in Pennsylvania. Over 500 pounds of methamphetamine, with a street value of about $9 million, were allegedly sold. Number 8. Highwaymen The Highwaymen came together in 1954 in the city of Detroit, Michigan. Michigan isn't the only place where you can find their chapters. They've also expanded to other states, as well as to Norway and England. Their insignia is a bat-like skeleton decked out in a leather jacket and a motorbike cap in black and silver, the club colors. Other than Highwaymen Forever, Forever Highwaymen, the Highwaymen's mottos include, Yea, though we ride the highways in the shadows of death, we fear no evil, for we are the most evil motherfuckers on the highway. Number 9. Hell's Angels The Hell's Angels are the longest-running and most notorious motorcycle gang in the United States. In the United States, the Hells Angels MC have achieved widespread notoriety as a result of their numerous high-profile confrontations with the law and other motorcycle clubs. Most notably, it has been claimed that the Rolling Stones recruited members of the Hells Angels to act as bodyguards for the band for their performance at the Altamont Free Concert at Altamont Speedway in December of 1969. One man wielding a pistol was stabbed to death when violence broke out in the audience and spilled onto the performance stage. Similarly, widely reported was an event at Harris Casino and Hotel in Laughlin, Nevada. One member of the opposing Mongols MC was stabbed to death, and two members of the Hells Angels were shot and killed during a violent conflict in the casino. 10. Sons of Silence The Sons of Silence Motorcycle Club, with headquarters in Colorado and jurisdiction over much of the Southwest and Rocky Mountain states, has 30 chapters across the United States and five breakaway clubs in Germany. The SOSMC currently has 275 members in total. The Sons of Silence are a motorcycle gang that formed in the 1960s in the Colorado town of Neewat and have been at war with rival gangs like the Outlaws ever since. Source, Abbott. The Sons have a lot of rivals for such a small club because they are one of the few one percenter groups to be allies with the Hells Angels. They compensate for the inferiority in firepower. In 1999, authorities from multiple states conducted a massive operation against the Sons of Silence clubhouses, seizing enough firearms to arm a little army. Numerous machine guns, pipe bombs, and even hand grenades were among the weapons that were seized. So, that is all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.